Hi, my name is Catherine Knight. I'm the Director of Marketing at Zeusk. Zeusk is a global online dating platform with top apps in both Google Play and the iTunes App Store. Zeusk is in over 85 countries and available in over 25 languages. Ivan McMahon, uh, CFO for B2 and CDate. They're both matchmaking products. B2 is for the matchmaking, find the love of your life, and CDate's for casual, for women to find the joyful encounters. I'm Ritesh Bhatnagar, I'm Head of Marketing and Growth at Woo, India's leading dating app. Joseph Eck, Marketing Program Manager, Count. Count is a fraud mitigation platform uh, designed to hook into payment processors as well as login portals to deter slash block fraudsters. Chris Smith, CEO of MatchPassport.com. We are a internet dating platform with services in Eastern Europe and across the United States as well as in India. My name is Julian Roberts. I'm the CEO and founder at Happy Couple. Happy Couple is a way to motivate partners who are already in a relationship to get to know each other better. So the whole idea is that they meet online and then what? We decided to mix therapy content, gamification and technology to help them to communicate more and better. Hi, I'm Katia Loisel from The Love Destination and I'm the CEO. The Love Destination is a global digital TV and media network for everything love, dating and relationships. My name is Frank Marcus, Enterprise Account Executive for Jumio. Jumio builds trusted identity as a service. We have uh, three pillars, identity verification, ID verification and document verification, essentially helping people connect the real world identity to that of their digital identity. Um, Dave Simonetti, uh, Real Gifts um, CEO. Tommy Sanguinetti, Real Gifts, uh, co-founder and president. So Real Gifts is a uh, gifting platform. Um, so we have a drop-in uh, gifting widget that we can power for dating sites. Um, so members can send each other real tangible gifts um, as easy as you know, pressing a button. Uh, president, CEOs, marketing directors, so those are the types of people that we're meeting here. Founders and CEOs. The types of people that I'm meeting here are CEOs and founders of different dating companies, also uh, matchmakers and um, people who are leading in dating content. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's CEOs, presidents, co-founders. Really um, decision makers, people that have yeah. the power to really do a deal. We could talk about business on the spot. Um, you can have signups on the spot. Um, and yeah. it just can't really, do that anywhere else. It really takes a lot of the time out of the uh, whole business process because you're just you're just sitting across the table and you're just you know back and forth. What's going to work? What's not? You're not doing like a three month long uh, you know email exchange. So we met the full gamut: CEOs, marketing professionals, service providers, uh, people on the on the cusp of the industry. So I think uh, because I belong to a dating world, uh, I, have, uh, uh, I run an app, so it gives me great pleasure to talk to people who are into the same business uh, at a CEO level or even uh, marketing heads or even affiliates uh, who can really contribute to the growth of my company or give me some ideas which I could see in terms of developing my app, better interactions, what can we do better in, in terms of um, you know, rolling it out to the consumer. So I felt that the knowledge that I was gathering, not that in Miami I didn't, but I just felt here it was more uh, consolidated, if I have to put it that, or more uh, insightful. I've been meeting CEOs, presidents of companies, founders, marketing, people in development. So it's been a really great mix of people. Uh, and yeah, really great opportunity to meet sometimes people from different different parts of the organization, which has been really great too. So here you meet directly with CEOs, which is great because then you directly connect with them and we already had like some interesting discussion and okay, like you're San from San Francisco, I'm from San Francisco, let's mix, let's meet, sorry, next week. Uh, it's very like direct, there is like no, no bullshit, no crap, it's like straightforward. Uh, I love it. So it's. I really felt like it was okay, I love what you do, I totally understand, you understand what I do, let's... And then it seemed like it's just plug and play, so I'm... Um, I can't wait to go back home now, uh, so too bad I have to stay tomorrow, but it's too good too, so... Absolutely, I mean, I have a, a pocket full of opportunities that we're gonna uh, kind of link up and unite with and, and try to further each other's ventures.
Not yet. Uh, it's been kept for tomorrow uh, because I've already had a couple of chats with people. Uh, I am, I'm hoping to close some deals tomorrow because especially with the affiliates, I think uh, that's something I would like to work on, yeah. We've had a lot of great meetings. Um, no deals so far, but uh, I think that we'll probably have some conversations after this. Not yet, but so not in today, maybe tomorrow. Uh, I mean, I have a lot of business cards with me. So now it's also about, okay, like, Let's sleep on it and, and, and really think on what's best for the users, what do they want next. Uh, but I find different ways to, I think, to work on my retention, to work on my monetization, and hopefully tomorrow about uh, my acquisition. So looking forward to what's next. You know what, great relationships. So for us, it's about building relationships and really um, working on collaboration so you know we're definitely talking with different people about um, you know how we can work together and how we can move forward together so that's been really great we have some interest there's some potential business development that will take place so um, there there's a strong likelihood i wouldn't say that i made any deals today but i definitely met a lot of new contacts and i could see ways that we could partner in the future uh, uh, we'll see. I mean, yeah. I think we got pretty close. Um, I mean, we, we literally got some signups and um, we, uh, yeah, we basically discussed some next steps um, on some really high level opportunities. So, yeah, it's been a great experience so far. Speed Network. Well, I used to run speed dating events, so I love speed networking. Uh, speed networking is fantastic because it's a really great opportunity to meet a lot of different people that, you know, of course you're going to meet them at the conference, but sometimes you might feel a little bit, particularly at the beginning, a bit shy about going up and saying, you know, can I talk to you? So it's a really great way to introduce yourself and find out a little bit about them and really connect with them as well. So, for, you know, for us, it wasn't so much about this is what I do, this is what you do. It was more about connecting with them as a person. And for me, anyway, that's the start of any great relationship, even if it's a business relationship, is just to actually disconnect. So it was great. Speed networking, I was actually trying to avoid this, but Mark pulled me into it, and I was very happy that he did because it, it puts you in a, a, in a zone where you might not get into. Even if you're a little uncomfortable meeting people or you don't want to talk to you, you got a lot of good insight from people in different spaces. You know, as a, an account executive, I'm always looking for the direct deal, um, but Connecting with these other people and learning what they're doing was very valuable to me. So I was, I was happy that uh, Mark pulled me into it. What you saw at the Speed Networking was just authentic people trying to understand your, your operation and see if there's synergies. And also there was tons of, of feedback on how they felt like you could improve. Just unbelievable advice. We had, enough, we had a lot of time to talk, five, ten minutes. We got very good understanding of what each other uh, is looking for, what we do and it gave us a good basis for having discussions in the evening. It was great. Um, we, have, we had two account representatives there, so we started at opposite ends of the room and uh, went through, kind of gave a high level overview of our company, got to know them, got to know where they're from, so it was more of a personal conversation and, and kind of dove in if it, was a if it was a good fit into how our platform could help their company. And it was, uh, it was a different format, I've never seen that before, but I, I definitely think for a conference of this size, with this amount of intimacy, it's, it's, a, good, it's a good format. It was my first experience, it was fascinating because I've not done speed dating and I've not done speed networking. So for me it was really, really, uh, I, I think, um, exciting because suddenly I was moving around, talking to new people and I think it helped me break ice with a lot of people. I think that's the, uh, that's the main word because when you go to a conference, you, you're a little nervous about approaching somebody for the first time and you know, you want to exchange notes, you want to talk. And I think the speed dating network, uh, or speed dating, sorry, speed networking, uh, just helped me break the ice. And some of it helped me more because, you know, uh, when I spoke to that audience, I already knew half of them. And, and it does help when you're talking to someone you already know. So it helped, it helped me express myself much better to those people because suddenly the faces became more familiar. Yeah, the speed networking component is actually a really, uh, kind of a really fun one. Um, it's, it's almost, it's kind of like speed dating only for business. Um, you meet probably like, you know, like dozens of people within a short amount of time. Um, so it's a really quick way to meet everyone and see who you have the most, you know, um, kind of you know, uh, uh, opportunities with, and then follow up with them afterwards. Um, but yeah, you're basically sitting around a table and you know you just keep you know shuffling down every few minutes and uh, you just talk to a bunch of people that way. It's great. 
Yes, of course. I, I think uh, Steve's uh, session was very encouraging because uh, the lot of things we're already thinking on is something that he was uh, coaxing us on to try. And I think uh, as, an, as an app guy, I think it was really, really uh, uh, you know, fascinating to see how the world is already moving and where we should go. Because I think the answer is that you need to be one up, then you're consumer, and then only you're successful. So a lot of things today, I think I'll take back with me, uh, which you need to really go and implement, like the AI, for example, and which you're already working on or at least the, the content of uh, giving a bot, a chat bot on your app, which again was an interesting concept. Yeah, we've got some good ideas. Well, one of them was an insight to our recent par partnership with Behaviosec. Uh, that has a lot of applications here in this space. And um, after learning more about like the bad actors and the problems that we're seeing in the industry, I think that we have a lot of applications there. So that was one of the takeaways. And the other is uh, just the landscape in general, how, um, the dating industry is set up, uh, a lot of great insight into that. So I think that we have a lot to work with moving forward. Yeah, a few different ideas came to my mind, um, mostly about data, of course. Uh, data is key at Happy Couple and, and what we're working on is making sure we can provide users with the right questions, with the right tips, with the right challenges, ideas to, to help them uh, have a better relationship. Um, the plug and play solutions are stuff that I heard about a messaging solution to add into our own app. I know that our users have been uh, wanting it, but I don't have time to spend on, on this. So I'm, I'm glad there are solutions uh, in the markets that are like available and, and, and easy to plug and play. Oh, for sure. Uh, the one thing I learned, uh, especially from some of the presentations, was just the sheer volume and some of the pain points that they had, or that iDate companies have right now, which is what we can help them out with. So. From my perspective, we got a lot of good data that reaffirms that this is a space that we need to be in. Yes, definitely got a lot of ideas from this event. And yeah, a lot to think about as well. And it's been really great to learn a lot about the industry and a lot about developments that have been happening. And, and now to take that back and think, well, how can we use that in what we're doing? So that's been really good as well. The value that I see for me personally from this event is connecting with people who are also in the industry and looking to see how we can best partner together to grow both of our businesses. Actually, yeah, we definitely did. I mean, yeah. there are, uh, I mean, there's, this event is just attracting like, you know, a whole lot of people from different industries, maybe slightly adjacent to dating and bringing them all together, like chatbots, AI, uh, some of these different specializations and so we're having conversations and there are people that are doing something that's working for them and there are ways that you can work with those people and create value together. Every conference there's new um, opportunities that come up uh, just because the space is moving so quickly. Um, so each time you know, we're talking with people that have ideas on ways that they can work with us, you know, ways that can work with other uh, people they meet here. Um, so it seems like every time people just are finding new ways to work together. The guy came on for the security, I think it was from Count. Um, he scared the hell out of us. <laughs> he did a good job. The guy from Count, he uh, made it clear how dangerous the world out is, is there online. Um, so I've got to change all my passwords, but I'm, I'm happy from the company perspective. We've got everything covered. It's more personal looking after myself. Mark Brooks' presentation was the aha moment for me. Uh, I'm going to take back the feedback that he gave us to our, the, our service team and uh, share just the numbers that he was um, he provided us. So I, I think his presentation by far was worth coming out here. I would say a few wow moments uh, this morning when the, and I was amazed that, that I could talk uh, directly to the, to the CTO uh, at IBM uh, talking about AI and how uh, like their technology can, can help you understand the emotions behind uh, some discussions and so for me I'm like okay I really understand why and how and when we should implement that and what are the usages uh, we're gonna build out of that. I think it's still one day to go so maybe my wow moment comes tomorrow but uh, in terms of at least I think uh, what I saw uh, in terms of uh, even Mark's presentation on uh, earlier on the whole industry I think that made me go wow and uh, because the reason being we just entered the other markets and I can see the potential which exists outside India. 
So I think that figures gave me a wow because uh, I feel that what we are doing is is really going to help. Yeah. Yeah. You sit down and, and you know somebody's maybe you're having lunch and you, somebody joins your table. That's uh, you know CEO of a big company and they're making acquisitions and you just maybe there's some way to work together and it's just uh, it's just like wow. You know how else are you going to find yourself in a situation like that? I was wowed by the data that was presented by uh, the Cortland Brooks organization and also by the organizer the energy and actually he kind of underestimates the, 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 the networking here is absolutely incredible. There were quite a lot of things that actually made me think this is really amazing. Uh, so I don't know if it was one particular moment that, that made me go wow but I, I feel as though maybe the state of the industry particularly in India was really it's something that I hadn't really thought about before and so that was a really amazing insight and I think Mark Brooks as well was really fantastic you know he had a lot of great insights about the industry uh, and things that perhaps I hadn't really thought about before so that was really amazing. So I think one of the big things that made me go wow was the amount of single individuals in the world uh, watching Mark Brooks talk was pretty informative into the overall landscape globally I knew quite a bit about the US but the the market globally is just is is exploding plus the various platforms and um, the engagement rates with the different applications it's it was it was kind of mind-blowing yeah um, when I was talking to Julian um, of happy couple uh, the, the things that he was talking about about what how people use this app I thought were so fascinating and it made me uh, remember why um, I'm in this industry and that is because relationships are so important and um, so yeah that made me say wow. Yeah, the chatbot was interesting. Um, I, I saw, I could see the direct application in a dating world but the thing that uh, kind of, the thing that made sense to me is the application into other industries of the chat box like automating a sales process using chat box. I mean, I just saw a, a lot of different use cases for it. I think the world is moving at a much faster pace and that's what you keep realizing when you have sessions like this. And uh, chatbot is something that I've been also exploring now for the last three, four months, how to make it more uh, robust in, in the app that we are using or, or the things that we are trying to do. And I think what I learned today and what I saw was fascinating because uh, it's, it's a great concept. It's where the world is moving. It's all going to be AI and chatbots and things like that. And, and we have got some successful stories like Momo in China, uh, which has lived there. Uh, in fact, the best growth story I've read, uh, ever read. So I feel that's, that's it's very interesting. And for me, I was taken by surprise that the world has already moved there because I've been researching this for the last two, three months. So a great, great time to spend here on that. I mean, the chatbots, it was really interesting to kind of see that, um, just see the panel just talking about that whole market. Um, it's, it's kind of an emerging opportunity for everyone. Um, it's definitely an interesting space. Um, and it, yeah. The opinions were just all over the place and it was good to see that. You know, nobody knows yet, you know, what's going to happen with it. And uh, it was good to just see what, you know, what is everybody thinking? You know, you have your own ideas, but, you know, you can't see everything, so. Well, this is a much more a tighter group. And uh, I like the interactions which happen, especially the networking sessions, because you got a chance to speak to a lot more people and because it was more tighter group, I guess it was, I felt this was much better than uh, the Miami one, yeah. Uh, the Miami one was a different scale, but in terms of, I guess, conversations, I, I found it better here, yeah. Absolutely great. They did a great job of presenting the opportunities and the challenges uh, and, and had fantastic data that kind of gave you a roadmap of how to operate your, your business. It's great to be at IDED conference because on the one hand, I'm meeting with uh, different uh, dating app owners and it's really interesting to understand uh, what are their problematics today? So it's a lot about how am I going to get users? How I'm going to monetize uh, my app? Uh, I like to think that Happy Couple is uh, could bring part of the answer. And on the other end, and I wasn't e exactly expecting that, but it's great. Uh, there are a lot of service providers who can provide services for dating apps, for couple apps, for any kind of apps. And we are talking here about artificial intelligence, machine learning. I heard uh, a lot about data. Data is the future. So it was a lot about curating your data and what to do with it. And I think it, it was super insightful. Yeah, we sponsored the conference uh, 
several years now. Um, it's always a great experience. Um, we get great exposure. People come to our booth, or you know, they'll see other signs, and uh, yeah, we're always just talking with quality people. For the dating industry, there's really nothing better. I mean, this is it. This is similar to China. It's a, a small group, so it tends to be more senior people and more interesting conversations. Uh, making a lot of great connections and um, networking with a lot of interesting people. So we are exhibiting at iDay. It's been good. Uh, we are obviously new to the vertical, so it's been very informative. Um, and yeah, we're excited to, excited to be here. You know, I think uh, overall it was a great experience. Uh, we would have liked to have seen um, more direct opportunities with iDate companies, but the knowledge we learned here today and then the opportunities to meet these companies in the future, I, 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 think, I think it was very valuable for us. This event has been really amazing. So it's, actually I didn't know what to expect because I haven't been here before, but it's been really lovely to meet amazing people from the internet dating industry and you know hear people's amazing journeys and stories and it's been a really great opportunity to make fantastic contacts so I will be definitely coming back again. This is my second time with iDate. The first I attended actually was Miami uh, two years ago and I was dying to come back because I was really excited participating and this time for the first time I got a chance to speak uh, which I really like doing so great experience. I guess Four or five now. It's actually my first ta time in the US and my first time at iDate, so it's really kind of exciting. This is my first time at iDate. Yes, uh, this is our first time exhibiting at iDate. This is my first time at iDate. If you're not at iDate, you're not in the dating business. If you're not at iDate, you're not in the dating business. Yeah, if you're not at iDate, you're not in the dating business. If you're not, not at iDate, you're not in the dating, dating industry. industry. So if you are not in the iDating conference, then you are not in the dating world. If you are not in the iDate, then you are not in the business of the rencontre. When you are in the dating market, you must be here in the iDate. If you are not in the iDate, you are not in the dating business. If you are not in the iDate, you are not in the dating business.